Hey everyone, this is Stafa from AdaContinues.com. I got sent this game by uh, Blackshell Media. They sent this to me. This is developed by a developer called Neckbolt. The game is called Belladonna. And uh, you see this creepy face, creepy doll face, blinking at you. Let's uh, let's do a new game. I already beat this game, so uh, you know no point in loading game. I'm gonna do a new game to show this off. So basically, you are this uh, like Frankenstein monster female, um, much smarter than Frankenstein monster. You're not like Rrr. she's uh, actually. Yeah, you know, she can think pretty well for herself. And uh, you wake up in this laboratory. Oh, the physical sensation. Pain? I'm alive? That's odd. I don't feel alive. What's going on? I have no memories of anything before this point in time. My mind is tabula rasa, yet I have language. I seem to be in some laboratory of sorts. Maybe I can find out what happened if I look around. So, basically this is a point-and-click adventure game. It's it's as point-and-click adventure as you can get. And uh, so basically this game, uh, you know, you just move the cursor around, click on things, and she walks up to it and talks machine. about it. Sometimes it's, it's an object you pick up. And uh, you're basically learning who this character is, why she is how she is, and what happened in this uh, castle. So you pick up these journal entries. There's a handwritten note here. Maybe it can shed some light on my situation. And so this one, just to sum it up real quick, uh, this scientist, um, his wife died and uh, he is traumatized about it so he tries to bring her back to life uh, and this is like after like the death of his son so and then you get like this um, the journal entries like it places them in the order of how they are written and so this is all the doctor the scientist and then there's another character and then there's a third character right there this is really weird the way how this is uh, visually set up um, I mean it would make more sense if there were like you know one character and then another character and another character like this having one character like right in the middle is kinda weird uh, so let's get out of this so you're in this room you can click on stuff you can look at things and here, there's an exit so basically the door won't budge. It, it has the other side. point and click I'm adventure puzzles hinges, which are basically like hey find uh an item and then use the item to uh, a in this toolbox. you, you know open it. something up or solve the puzzle also, we're going to need this magnet over here. I love magnets. And we're going to need this oil. This looks expensive. Let's waste it. And I think there is. Oh, there's a bone saw. That's for later, though. Ooh, surgical tools. Shiny. So let's use this oil on the door because the, on the rusty screws. screws are rusted. Them up. And then I'm free. we break down the door with the screwdriver so basically um, just to give the premise I don't want to like spoil the story or anything uh, the premise of this is that uh, this was written long there's a man a wife and a son that uh, lived in this uh, castle the son dies and like both of them go into grief about it. Both the man, the husband, and the wife. Uh, we're gonna need the stick right here. There's a long stick here. 
Perhaps it was used to try to chase and rats when trying to sleep. They both go into different directions at that point. Like the the scientist goes into madness the from the lonely and uh the the wife she goes into griefing and needs uh emotional support which the scientist doesn't support and so she goes into she starts having an affair and the scientist basically suspects an affair all right so here's another puzzle We're, here's a key we got to get so what we do is take the stick attach Look, it to the magnet attach the magnet to the end of the stick and then we'll use that on this door to let's get hope that this works so yeah so let's get the key Aha. just so he suspects her of um having uh an affair and also she's his wife's an animated corpse because he brought her back to life and uh, oh we gotta use the key can't just click on the door and here's another journal entry more letters i'm not gonna sit here and read it all because if you want to play the game then you know there's no point in me reading it all for you but you know i'm just basically giving the premise here's another uh, point and click adventure puzzle. It's very simple. Pick up these cogwheels. The the and then you have to put them up in the right order. I if I can put them so, this one goes up there. This one goes down there. And then this one goes there. So, the scientist, his wife is Belladonna. And you're trying to figure out who your character is. Is your character Belladonna? Is your character the maid? Uh, you know, you're gonna learn who she is eventually. And, um... The doctor is losing it. Yeah. So this is basically like I've shown. You get these journal entries here. Um... Is there anything else here? I got the, Oh yeah, the bowl. A beautiful china bowl. It looks hand-painted. And there's a picture of the scientist. The label says Dr. Wolfram von Trauerschloss. So this is the man who brings the dead back to life. So I, I like the fact the that uh, this game is fully voice acted. That's a really uh, good aspect of the game. Also the, the art isn't uh, bad either. I kind of like how it looks except for the fact... Uh oh. It's a dead body. Uh, the one thing I don't like about the art is like how her back looks like it's broken. Like, it's like very Barbie doll-esque. I don't know if that's what they're intentionally going for, but it just looks really weird that her back looks like it's broken. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna let this uh, video go on for too long because of the fact that I don't want to show off all the puzzles, um, you know, show show the um, solutions to all the puzzles. But uh, this is basically it as far as what type of game it is. You click on a place, you go to it. You click on object, you go to it and pick it up. Um, this letter is signed Belladonna. Now we're getting uh, we're getting uh, Belladonna's journal entries at this point. So. Personally, I did not really care for the story. Uh, some people might like it. Uh, you know, those who are into like the gothic theme. Um, I mean, the story has elements that other games are afraid to touch, such as um, uh, you know, abusive relationship, uh, abusive spouse. Um, same-sex uh, relationships, stuff like that. Uh, it's also a very short game, though. You can beat it within an like somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half. So, I mean, you gotta keep that in mind too if it's worth it. I mean, personally, I first of all, I'm not really big on uh, um, point-and-click adventure games, so take that for what it is. Uh, I do like games like. Um, Telltale's Walking Dead and uh, uh, Wolf Among Us. 
those are really good but mainly because i got um very invested in the characters and the story i thought those are really good um this one it doesn't really do it for me um i mean this wasn't a bad game don't don't uh uh get the wrong idea but it just wasn't my thing um so personally i don't really recommend this game for everybody but if this looks like it's something that you'll be into maybe it's worth checking out um so let me get the information uh on the game real quick uh so right now it is on sale for 468 uh for like the next day um but regular price is seven dollars 6.99 so you know if this looks like something that you want to check out go ahead but keep in mind it's a really short game um it was all right as far as you know my personal taste goes i you know it didn't really do much for me but at the same time it i didn't think it was bad so anyways um thanks for watching the video completely abandoned. and uh if you've got this far leave a uh, comment on youtube no matter how and uh you know you can subscribe and rate as well but definitely leave a comment let me know what you think if you played this game let me know did you like this game or if you haven't played this game is this something that uh you'd be interested in or not interested in let me know so uh Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again for another gameplay video or the podcast later.